welcome to Virology Research Services, where we decode science and provide innovative solutions. Imagine a time when scientists didn't even know viruses existed. The story of their discovery begins not in a hospital or a medical lab, but in a tobacco field in the Netherlands in the 1880s. Farmers observed that certain tobacco plants were dying from a mysterious disease that created a strange mosaic pattern on the leaves. Little did they know, they were about to witness the birth of an entirely new field of science. Adolf Meyer, a German chemist with a keen interest in agriculture, began studying this strange tobacco mosaic disease. He noticed something odd. When he took sap from sick plants and rubbed it on healthy ones, they got sick too. But when he looked under his microscope, nothing, no bacteria, no fungus, nothing he could see was causing this disease. You see, Mayer was looking for something the size of bacteria, but what he was dealing with was 100 times smaller, something that would change our understanding of disease forever. In 1892, a young Russian scientist named Dmitry Ivanovsky made a crucial experiment. He took the infected plant sap and passed it through a filter so fine that bacteria couldn't get through. The filtered liquid should have been harmless, but when he put it on healthy plants, they still got sick. Something smaller than bacteria was causing this disease. A few years later, Dutch scientist Martinus Bijerink took this discovery further. He called the filtered sap contagious living fluid, providing the first scientific description of what we now know as a virus. It wouldn't be until 1939 that scientists could actually visualize this virus, the tobacco mosaic virus, or TMV, using an electron microscope. For the first time, humans could see what a virus actually looked like. Validating Bajerink's earlier hypothesis about these elusive infectious agents. But TMV's role in science was just beginning. Even more fascinating, scientists discovered they could crystallize TMV like minerals, yet these crystals remained infectious. This discovery blurred the line between living and non living matter, challenging our very definition of life. In 1955, Heinz Frankel Conrad and Robley Williams made another groundbreaking discovery with TMV. They showed that viruses could be taken apart into their basic components, protein and genetic material, and then reassemble themselves into functional viruses. This revealed the elegant simplicity of viral structure and opened new doors in understanding viral infection. Studying how TMV is built and how it interacts with cells laid the groundwork for modern virology. So while that mysterious disease in Dutch tobacco fields might have seemed like just a farmer's problem, TMV taught us that sometimes the smallest things can have the biggest impact on science.